Welcome to Crystal Info Co UK. This session we're going to be looking at Google Analytics. This is a piece of software run by Google that allows you to track users on your website and gain information about how they joined it or found it and so you can use that to help gain more traffic for your site. To do this you need to have a, a Google account. Uh, if we go to the top right hand corner you can see that there's a button called sign in. Uh, but if you're like me and have a start page with the Firefox start it doesn't have the sign in button. If you don't have the sign in button you need to go to more and even more and then down to their business uh, solutions at the bottom. Now we're interested in Google Analytics so what we need to do is we have if you've already got an account you can access Google Analytics uh, with a big button. If not, you need to sign up, uh, which is really quite straightforward. I've all, the sign up is fairly easy because they just have uh, your uh, email and they send you an email to confirm that it is you and then you can respond to that and then you can get into Google Analytics. When you first click on Google Analytics, they will give you another registration form in which you have to put in your uh, domain name uh, that you want to track and if there's one button you need to click if it's a single domain or if there's subdomains uh, on your site. So once you're into Google Analytics they will give you this but for you to be able to track it they will give you a piece of code that you need to put onto your website. So this is one piece of code uh, that uh, I've got from one site so um, so JavaScript that you need to put to your website and they tell you that it needs to be in front of the slash head tag in your HTML. So what we need to do is to copy this code and there's an instant copy button on the analytics website so I've just copied it and then so I can get rid of that and then we need to look at the code on your site. So this is my uh, subdomain for test uh, which is running there so what I need to do is to open that and I like to use uh, a package called Text Wrangler which shows me all the code for the website there and it's a very simple piece of code and as we scroll down you can see here that it, there's a slash head so we've got to put that bit of code before there so what I'm going to do is I've got a bit of a uh, space there so I'm just going to put in uh, a new line and then paste it uh, in there and so I can then access that information so Google Analytics will look for this piece of code for you to track so what I then need to do is to save that file and then I can close it off so there's my uh, website still there and if I go into my website here. This I've already connected via the FTP to my website and what I do is I just replace that piece of code there. And we want to overwrite it and it's complete. So my website will still look exactly the same. So if I go there it will look exactly the same as that but it's got the Google Analytics code there so if I go to view page source you can see there is the Google Analytics uh, information so we'll get rid of that so when you're in Google Analytics uh, it tells you here your domain and you can look at a report to find out what's been going on uh, on your website this has only just gone up uh, in the last few days so there's not a lot of uh, information on here but what's useful is you get a graph of the number of tracks and visitors uh, and then what countries they've come from so let's have a look at the countries so we can see uh, here that we've got from England we've got some from Portugal uh, one from Belgium uh, from South Africa and Brazil but we'll have a look at the United Kingdom ones so we just zoom into that detail and then it shows you little plots on where people are actually uh, visiting from so different areas uh, within London and uh, southwest and so on so we get some uh, good information 
uh, about who's uh, looking at what, uh, how long they're on for, uh, and what they're doing, uh, and whether they're new visitors or repeating uh, visitors. And you can just look through all these menus on the left to find out uh, what's uh, happening uh, with your site. So that's pretty much uh, Google Analytics. It just tells you what's been going on on your site. But you can add more than one site to your analytic uh, profile. So we d we're just limited with one. But if we want to add a new one, what I can do, I just click on Add New. I'm going to put the test dot okay so I'm just going to put this domain on it it's still United Kingdom uh, so it's telling me tracking uh, isn't installed but then it gives me a new script uh, for one so this is one domain with multiple subdomains so what I do is I copy that and then I can go back to my site folder and open up Text Wrangler again. And I can take that bit out, paste a new one in. So these can come and go if you're changing accounts with the same uh, web pages because you've taken on somebody else's job. Just look for the old code that you don't want. Take it out, replace it with the new code, save the file, and I can close that off. And then once again, I FTP it to my account. Drop that in, and I say I want to overwrite it again, and I've changed it again to the new account. So. I just want to save that and finish it because it's done and now I've got a new account come up now what's happening is it takes about 24 hours for Google Analytics to find your site and to start making some information about it uh, so it takes a little bit of time uh, so all our status is a little bit questionable uh, at the moment for that one and but although it's still working on the old one so 24 hours time you can come back to it and you should start to see some information you won't expect a lot of hits straight away but it should start coming through in the next few months so that's Google Analytics just a great way to track and see what's going on on your website if you need any more information go to chrislinfo.co.uk you can contact me there or I see you on YouTube or on iTunes <laughs>